even if you took all other bullshit out, just like, just look at it objectively. The shit's not working. And I think that's maybe as what pisses them off so much and why they would never come to terms with it, because they don't want to accept that maybe their ideological enemies were right. Maybe all the stuff that they were talking about and how this was turning people off to the brand, maybe that was when you call them toxic and call them man babies and call them all the shit. Maybe all of that was, was turning people off. But they maybe. were calling them that because they knew they were right and they were mad. That's that, that's why you want, you want to call them names because you want them to be quiet. You want to try and shame them in some way, shape, or form because that's your currency. That, that's your one of your weapons is shame. Shame people. Shame them to silence. When they're shamed into silence, we can carry on doing what we want. No, you're a fucking joke. The comics are a joke. X-Men Gala fucking bollocks. What the fuck is that? Who do you think's buying that shit? Nobody. Who do you think's buying floppy leg spider twat? Nobody. Who do you think's buying Liberace fucking Spider-Man? Nobody. Who do you think's buying Tim Drake gay boy? Nothing but nobody. Who's buying super homo? Nobody. Aqua gay? Nobody. Nobody's buying this fucking shit. Cancelled again. Cancelled again. Let's go into the editor-in-chief. I have a new idea. What's this new idea? It's this character here. Yeah, they're gay. Oh, here we go again. Yeah, okay, yeah, green lit. Yeah, stunning and brave. Fucking blah, blah, blah. And it's all I hollow. Would, I would watch this film, Eric. It's, um, it. <laughs> yeah, man, I just shared that. To, yeah, if you want to make money, Star Wars, I'll give, it to, I'll give you that one for free. Yeah, yeah, oof. Generous, man. You ain't even got to, you ain't got to pay me for it. That's yours. The, the title's yours. I'd say I'd say the green cunt, but there you go. <laughs> the title's yours. It's yours. But yeah, it's <laughs> it's not equal in sales, but that's the prop the problem is that, you know, I guess back in the gap it was more blue collar. Cause you know, we hear Chuck talk about this, you know, an era that he comes from. You know, they're looking at it still is blue collar, mate. It's never changed. That's who predominantly buys comics. The working fucking man is the predominant buyer of comics. Yeah. That's your target audience. Although it's not to you, your target audience is some fucking blue-haired land whale Portlandian who likes mutilating kids for a living. That's your fucking target audience, and congratulations, you sold as many copies of that comic as there fucking are towards those people. Fucking five. Yeah. You've, you have, you have, you're, uh, they are too good for their audience. Let them tell it. Absolutely. You're, they're too good. We've, we've spoken about this before. Once upon a time, the customer was always right. Once upon a time, the customer was king. Now, is the customer good enough to buy our product? Yep. That is where companies are right now. Yep. And that is where the comic book industry, you brought a bunch of aloof fucking people who look down on comic purchasers and think they're fucking small little people. Oh, look at these little people. Silly little people buying these silly little big characters. Yeah. You haven't got people that love the characters. You got people that hate the characters. You ain't got people that love heroes. You got people that hate heroes. You ain't got people that can fucking write. And they're just a whole fucking mess of neuroses because they know it and they're there and they know they don't deserve to be. And they look down at the audience because they know full well their audience knows more about this shit than they ever will in their lifetime. Facts. Absolute facts. Not even know. Think Chuck Dixon ever did that? Denny O'Neill ever did that? Fucking anyone? No, no. They knew who their audience was. They knew they knew how to cater to that audience. They knew how to produce what that audience wanted. I get DC Comics tomorrow. I get Marvel tomorrow. We've said this before. I'm sorry if we're putting ourselves. You got it. You got it. Everybody, fuck off. And the ones who are decent will call you back. It sounds like harsh but that's the only solution if i'm gonna be 100 with you that's the only solution it's hey we sent a mass email to everybody that has an email attached to the company right and we say you're all fired um that your email will not work in the next 24 hours after that because you're gone right so we're just sending you the email so you see the email and then if there's contracts involved, whatever project that they are working on, I'm sending a mass email, say, stop what you're doing. We're going to pay you for your, uh, for your, uh, uh, you know, honor our obligations. If the part of the contract says we got to pay you out, whatever, we're going to do that. We're going to pay you out. Um, uh, but don't finish the work. Go fuck off. That's the only solution. Everybody get the fuck out. Everybody get the fuck out. And 
Then we'll work on it the next day, the next week. Maybe there are some people that need to get brought back. We'll call them. But initially, everybody's gone. It's virus. We got to we gotta go to the root. And I'm not about to sit up here and waste all this time to try to figure out who's compromised and who's, who's not. Everybody mm-hmm. get the fuck out. Mm-hmm. That's the only solution for these fucking companies. That, that's how infiltrated they are. That's how these fucking locusts have latched themselves, leeches, ticks, whatever you want to call them, have latched themselves to their companies. And it's in- infiltrated every aspect of it from leadership on down to the creatives. The janitor's probably in on it, too. So I'm getting rid of his ass, too. All of them. Everybody is out. Everybody's out. Perfect word to describe them. But then we'll figure it out. That's not to say that people that left won't get called back, but we'll handle that. Initially, everybody's fucking gone. That's the only way that these companies are going to get fixed. And in order for something like that to happen, well, who owns them would need to be someone that gives a fuck about it. It has to start there. Tom Taylor, (laughs) are you going to be a dumb fuck or are you going to be fucking normal if we get you back in? All right, okay. Talk to that then. <laughs> That's the conversations I'll be having. Period. Are you gonna are you gonna write properly or are you gonna come to me and go, hey, let's fucking make this character go? Hey, what, what are you gonna do? You're gonna be normal? You're gonna be normal or we'll talk. You're gonna be fucking stupid. Stay out. Period. That's just what it is. That's the only solution. People need to understand it. That's it. And if it doesn't happen, even if it, let me say this. Every success is going to be an outlier and it's going to be abnormal if if that does not happen. Other than that, it's just going to be like something crept through. Sasuke somehow snuck a snuck a story by where Black Widow takes it to fucking pedophiles. Like they literally snuck it by. It was too late before they realized, oh shit. You know what I'm saying? Like that they're that's killing, how they're killing our boys. <laughs> For, uh, we're talking about flying close, I mean, to the sun. <laughs> Boy, motherfuckers was sweating when they was reading that shit. Like, is this about is this about us? <laughs> they snuck it by. They, they snuck it by. Certain circumstances snuck it by, and I'm so thankful that they were able to get it by. But that's what I'm talking about. It's gonna be that type of approach. It's gonna th- th- those are what are, are gonna be the be su- like the successes because they they've been so fucked top to bottom. They are in trouble and. The ideologues, the, the ideologues, ideologues that run the co- companies are so. I think they've worked so hard to get in this position that they sh- for sure wouldn't go down without a fight. So that's why the fight will be to fire them. I'm not gonna fight with y'all. Ain't nothing. To be, ain't nothing to argue about. No. Ain't nothing, like again. Ain't no love loss either. Like if I, if hypothetically speaking, the Ripperverse got control of Marvel again. Oh. I'm telling everybody. Get out. I'm praying to every god. But, <laughs> but I, I, I'm saying get out. I'm saying everybody that is a part of this, the the the, the merger or whatever you want to happen, that now you guys are part of whoever was coming from the other company, get the fuck out. Get out. Here's the email. It details everything. Read it because it will self-destruct. In a, I'll, in get, a- I'll get Ubers for you all. <laughs> I'll be accommodating. You're out the ah. door, but I'm a, I, I'm gonna be accommodating. I don't really owe y'all that. If I'm a nice guy, I'm gonna be accommodating. I'm gonna, but you, but you're out. Yeah, everybody is gone, and we'll figure it out after the fact. And maybe some of y'all, and I wouldn't say that you should expect it because 99 percent of y'all won't be coming back, right? But maybe there's a there's a tiny chance, but that is going to be reserved for the upper echelon. Everybody else, you're out. You're going to have to be forced to get a real job. Maybe maybe you try the mags approach. Stumbled on hard times, invoiced. December. Not my problem. <laughs> Not my problem. Alpha Core number one's pre-order is live. Written by the legendary Chuck Dixon and penciled by Joe Bennett. Visit Ripperverse.com to grab a copy and any of the merchandise items. Be sure to also check out the animated trailer for the campaign, which is the latest project from Ripperverse Studios. Y'all be easy.